Hey, I'm Mark Farrell, and I'm here today to show you how to balance your props correctly. It seems to be some very bad information out there on the internet that just talk about doing it horizontally, and the proper way is to do it vertically and horizontally. Anyway, I'm going to go over all the procedures with the Debro balancer, and if you have any questions, uh, too bad. All right. This is the Debro balancer. Okay, it needs balancing this way. Excuse me. It needs leveling this way, and it needs leveling this way. Okay, adjusting these on these arms will allow you to turn it this way, or turn it this way. It will also, by having one side lower than the other, will allow you to level it this way. As you can see, I've already leveled it. You can see on the level that the bubble is flat between the two lines in the same way in this direction. So my Debro balancer is level. That means I can't spin it like this on the desk because the desk leans away from the computer a little bit. I've got to try to maintain its position. Okay. Now along with the Debro balancer comes a capped blade balancer which has a counterclockwise thread on one side and a clockwise thread on the other side for the two different types of blades you've got on your quads. Okay, And that will set in here with your blade threaded onto the end of the cap and then your blade hanging over one edge and then you tap it to set your balance on it. Now I'm going to be doing the ones, the blades that came with the quad. These are the blades that came with the quad. Okay, and if you noticed, it's got a slotted section on one side of center, and it's got a rounded area on the back side. Okay, so whenever you're putting it into the balancer shaft, you want the round side to match this round cone. So that's the round side, that's the, that's the squared side. So let's put the round side inside here. Let's put the flat part of this cone against the blade, okay? Let's put the spring on next, then the washer, and then the retainer. This stops everything from moving. All it does is put pressure against that washer and spring to hold it into position. And I usually do a little spin on these just to make sure it's maintaining tightness against the hub. Okay, now the first thing you do is you check it for weight. Now you notice that the blade is moving on its own down in one direction and it's not straight up and down. So that means your hub is out of balance and so is the balance horizontally. So the first thing we want to do is get the horizontal balance correct. And right now it shows that that side is heavy and that's why it's dropping in that direction. So let's get two pieces of tape and start out right away. Let's put one here. And you're just arbitrarily trying to get it an equal amount on both sides from the from the hub. Okay, so let's just put it in the middle on both sides. Okay. Now let's check it again. Okay, it shows that it's heavy on that end. That means that piece of tape is too far toward the tip or the other side is not far enough. Okay. Let's try it this way now. Okay, now this side shows it's not too far off horizontal balance. So let's work on the vertical first, since the horizontal doesn't look too bad. Okay, so the hub is what's causing us to spin. So let's check out the hub balance. The hub balance is done vertically, and it should stay straight up and down. Now with this blade flipping up when I set it in the outside position, that means that piece of tape needs to come over to this side. So let's move the tape over.
trying to stay the same distance from the hub, but go to the outside edge. Let's check it again, see if it's any better. It's staying more vertical now, so we might have resolved some vertical issues. Now let's check the other vertical, other side. That's staying vertical. Let, let's tap it a little bit. It moves up and pretty much stays up. Let's tap it the other way. Moves up. And it drops back down. Okay, so now we'll work with that on the horizontal because the horizontal is off further than the vertical is now. Okay, let's try the horizontal again. Horizontal is showing on that side. Let me try again. The far blade on that side is heavier. Let's try it this way. This also shows that side's heavier. So we've got to move this one out further. Trying to maintain the same distance from the edge as we do it. Okay, I moved it out, but I didn't move it this way back and forth any. So let's see if that's going to make it any better. Not too bad. Let's check it this way. It's drifting off of horizontal. It's saying that side's heavier. Okay, before I check horizontal again, I'm going to go back to my vertical, check the hubs and see if they're way off. Tap that a little bit, see if it moves. That hub looks good on that side. Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, this shows that that tape should go that way just a little bit. Because it's wanting to stay up that way. When, when with just a little bit of a tap, it wants to keep going. That means your hub is out. See, it just wants to keep going. Okay, so we're going to move the tape in that direction a little bit keeping the same distance from the hub. Okay, now let's try it again. I'm still wanting to lift on the edge a little bit. better. Let's go past center a little bit, see if it drifts. Better, much better. Okay, let's check it again this way. It's pretty vertical. Let's tap it past vertical. Pretty much stays. Let's drift them back a little. Let's try it past vertical on this side. Wants to come back. Keep it in vertical. Okay, let's check horizontal again. Let's tap it down here. See if it'll stay when it's tapped. It wants to drift back down. That side's heavier a little bit. Let's try tapping it down instead. Yeah, it drifts down pretty good. Let's try it this way. Now this was the heavier side. Let's see if it shows the same here. It's 
We're getting close. Okay, that's still the heavier side. Okay, so that means I've got to bring that in just a little bit because it's heavier, but I don't want it to go any further away from the edge. So I want to come in, but stay the same distance from the edge. Okay, let's try that. Tap. Okay. Tap. I don't want to go that far. Just want it to move a little bit off horizontal to see if it'll keep going one way or the other. Go on up. It's not continuing the drift. I'll go down. It's not continuing. That's good. So let's try this way. Try the same thing. It maintains level. I'll go down. It doesn't continue. I'll go up. It doesn't continue. That looks good. We've got a good horizontal balance. Now let's check our hub once more. There it is at the bottom. Let's check a little bit off bottom. It stays. Let's check a little bit off bottom this way. It stays. Let's check the other side. First set it right at the bottom. It stays. Tap it a little bit one way. It stays. Tap it a little bit the other way. It stays. Okay, so now with both positions being really close, it should not back up or rush forward whenever I tap it. It might back up, let's say, a quarter of an inch or so, but that's no big deal. So let's check it. Okay. From any position on the clock to any position on the clock. There shouldn't be some crazy flow forward or back. Now that's further than it should go right there. Okay, we've got a little bit of out of balance somewhere. i got to figure it out. Let's try here again. It wants to flow that way pretty good, so that piece of tape needs to move that way. Yep. Okay, let's try moving this tape closer to the edge just a little bit. Let's see if that's better. Okay, let's try the other end. Check horizontal. Other side. Okay, we should be better. Let's find out. Stays there. Stays.
Okay. Let's stay in. And as you notice, you're starting from almost any position on the clock and just trying to move it very slightly forward to see if it'll rush forward faster or if it'll back up a lot. Looks like to me it's got a good balance on that now. So in review real quick, when you're placing tape you're using two pieces so that you can get the balance of it horizontally. The distance from the center to the tip will decide how much it's going to droop. The further you go this way with the tape, the further this blade is going to drop. Okay? The further you bring this back in the same way with both sides. Okay, once you come up with a balance horizontally, then turn your blade vertically. When you're training your blade vertically, you're going to be working on the hub. Now when you're working on the hub, you're going to be moving the tape at the same distance that it already was from the hub, but now you'll be moving it closer to one edge or the other edge so that you can make it maintain a horizontal position. If, if the blade isn't horizontal but is like this when you're looking at it, then you need to move the piece of tape to this edge and by the weight being heavier on this edge it's going to pull the blade back down this way. Then if the blade is this way too far then you need to move the piece of tape over here maintain the same distance from the hub but move the tape to this side and it will make the blade drop this way. Once you've got it done then you drop your blade to this side and you do the same thing on this end. If the blade is too far vertically this way you move the tape to this edge. If the, tape, if the blade is too far in this direction, then you move the tape to this side so it forces it down weight-wise. Once you've done that vertically, then go back and check your horizontal because you might, when you were moving the tape, you might not have got it perfectly the same distance from the hub. So go back horizontally and check horizontal again. If it's too far this way, then pull this piece of tape a little bit further out so it won't be so heavy, excuse me, a little further in so it'll make this side come back up. Or you could take this one a little further out so it'll cause this side to droop more. But the whole key is, is to balance where you put the piece of tape on the blade so that the hub is properly balanced and so is the blade horizontally. Okay? And that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.